Oh, hello, Gwendolyn. Come on in. Um, where did your friend go? Why, he's right behind you, keeping warm by the fire. There's no one there. Not to worry, he'll be back. Always bouncing in and out, that one, like a slingshot. Grandpa, we need to talk. Of course, sweetheart. What'll it be? Dragons, treasure, love stories. We need to talk about this. I see. Come here. I am so sorry. I should have told you when I had the chance. I'm just not ready for you to go. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. Not yet. The mirror promised me one final adventure. But the doctors, they said... Has the magic mirror led us astray before? I'll be here for one more adventure, no matter what any doctor says. So, where's this adventure taking place? I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be grand. One for the tapestries of time. I was thinking, Serenia, or a family trip back to Avalon. Grandpa, you can't even get out of bed. Oh, I can get out of bed all right, just saving up my strength. I need to know why. Why? I thought it would be nice to have an adventure outside these walls with the whole family. No, not that. I need to know why the doctors can't fix you. There has to be a magical fruit that can cure you, or a spell to extend your life. I just can't believe that you're only suffering from old age. Take a seat. There are a few more stories I have yet to share. Dad? We brought you some treats. Dad? Oh. Well. Oh. Grandpa! Oh. No. Oh. Dad, say something. Story. Gwendolyn, go get the nursemaids. No. What do you want me to do? What, what can I get you? You want mom? Mom! Story. Sorry? No, story. Uh, the story. Help me finish it. Let's get him back in bed. Grab his feet. I couldn't reach the bell. I should have known you would try to escape. I thought I needed one more adventure. One last trophy to hang on these shelves. But the only treasures I need are standing right beside me. It's okay, love. You can stop fighting. It's time. Not before my story is done. You have to finish it. Me? I don't know how it ends. I'll help you. I, I can't. I'm not ready. Gart should tell it. Grandfather's passing his hat to you. I think you should take it.
Go ahead, Cuddle Bug. King Grandpa, the greatest adventurer to ever live, would do anything in his power to protect his family. Daventry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Grant, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. The hat suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. All right, kiddos, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa, and I'll tuck you in. Good night, Grandpa. Uh, I love you. Uh, I love you too, God. And I am proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. I just want to say, you're the best Grandpa. And my favorite person in the world. I love you, and I'm so sorry you didn't get your last adventure. Sweetheart, there is nothing to be sorry about. I now know that all of my adventures will live on forever inside of you. As long as you keep telling my stories, they will never die. Thanks for sharing them with me, Grandpa. I love you. I love you too, dear. Go. Go get some rest. Wake me in the morning, and we can make some pancakes. My sweetheart Gwendolyn, when you read this letter, you'll already know about the crown I have left for you and why. Please don't worry about me. I lived a long, fulfilling life 
and I wouldn't change one decision. I've led this kingdom with all the compassion in my heart, and I've seen that same love in your eyes. But I would never force upon you rules and addenda to protect my legacy. You must make your own decisions. I only share my stories in the hope that they would help you down whichever path you choose for Daventry. Go forth and be Queen Gwendolyn the Compassionate, or the Patient, or the Dragon Slayer. Just know that I will always be watching over you and kissing your forehead from the stars above. It was my first solo trip away from home. I was well practiced within the safety of the castle walls. But today, my feather was going to get its first real notch. Every good adventure seeker knows to be prepared, and I most definitely am. Acorn's legendary adventuring rope. Check. Chaka's bow that Grandpa used on many a quest. Check. Who knows what danger lurks out here. Trusty hatchet. Check. Oh, well, I guess that's it. All right, Yarble Snoofs. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I need that tracking badge. What? A queen still needs to develop new and important skills. You can always be better. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. These prints are all over the castle stables. So... Definitely snoot tracks. These must be Yarble snoot tracks. Grandpa do. I felt as though I was at a loss for what to do. And then I remembered. I was a fourth-ranked Wetzel Wolf Scout. I needed to slow down and observe what was around me. And here we find the snoot. The scout guide says he can leap nearly 30 feet in the air. I feel that's unlikely. Small food for a small animal. Grandma always warned me about the stomping tendencies of snoots, but I'd never seen it in action. I wonder if I could get them to stomp somewhere else.
I think these will work. And there's the Yarble Snoof. They're said to be quite elusive, but I'm guessing everyone found them annoying and chose not to bring them to town. Did I leave these footprints? I don't remember walking here before. Sorry about the trouble, little one. to have the perfect spring for my trap. <clears throat> and now we wait and hide. Let me cut you down. Just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. I don't know why Snooze liked this so much. way to get those sugar shrooms. I probably need some help to get those sugar shrooms.
Sugar shrooms. Give me the link I need. Now we wait and hide. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. What are you doing in there? I can help. You got yourself into this mess, not me. I was just catching gobble snoops. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you down. I'll just shoot you down instead of using my hatchet. Dragons are great.
Uta? Oh, right, shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Oh, Stalama! Uta! You got this. Come on. Afanata! Afanata! Almost there. Keep going. was amazing. We just defeated a twirling, whirling gaggle of Yarvel Snoops and the most menacing dragon I have ever seen. Well, it was the first dragon I've ever seen, but we did it. I can't believe I had to use a Chaka's bow. Are we the dueling archers now? I, I don't want to duel you. I just think I mean, you're much better than me, but we can be super friendly archers. I didn't think I could make the shot. I'd never been able to make the shot, but you believed, and then I did. And then you threw the rope and then did it. This is the best adventure ever. And I'm still gonna get my Wetzel Wolf Scout patch. And now I have a new best friend, and this is the best. Oh, um, sorry. I get a bit excited when it comes to adventure. Afanata. I'm Queen Gwendolyn, granddaughter of King Grim the Compassionate. Taskia. Achaka. Grand. Oh, a chuckle was your grandfather. Um, well, my grandfather gave this to me, but without a chaka, I wouldn't be here. It belongs to you. Really? Hmm. Afanata. Adventure again soon, Taskia. Maybe with less Shrekies. <gasps> Shreky! No, it's fine. I don't think it meant to cause any harm. It's not even the same dragon. See? It's just hungry. Dragon.